the piece is called uh, True Love Waits, um, and it's uh, about three women writing to a prisoner on death row, um, but it's funny. <laughs> it's a dark comedy, uh, three monologues that interweave, um, three letters, uh, sets of sets letters, of letters um, as people kind of write to this, this convicted murderer uh, on death row, but we never meet him. Um, it's really about the women's relationship to this guy. And why they have decided to write to a convicted murderer, what they're missing in their lives that means they need to latch on to this man who's done such horrendous things. We, uh, you told me you loved me, and I slipped back, and then he took my clothes off, and turned out the light, and we got into bed. He held me at first, and he told me you loved me again, and I said it back again. What we wanted to do was, we were interested in three playwrights collaborating together uh, and coming together to create one piece. Um, so we met up with them uh, several times uh, and talked about the play and the, sto the overall story. Mm. Uh, so we kind of set that, and they were interested um, in the, the idea of a convicted murder and three people writing uh, to him yeah. uh, because, because of uh, the Amanda Knox case uh, in Italy. In Italy. Um, and that idea of celebrity criminals yeah. and how someone's notoriety can, can translate into fame and, and adoration. So that was their starting point. Um, and then they, they actually became more interested in the people who, um, who fanned the flames of that celebrity rather than the person who did the initial acts. Mm. So the writers came up with characters that they were interested in writing about and then kind of narrowed it down to a short list of three and then they took one character each. So they essentially wrote a 15, 20 minute monologue each um, and then came together, shared their monologues and then um, already through their separate writing found that there were lots of similarities and motifs that recurred between the three strands without without them having talked about it. They just die now, you know? Get it over with. They spend their whole lives at home, except for when they exercise indoors. And then they eat some more like blind chickens in a battery farm getting fatter and fatter. I don't go to the gym anymore. Cage me up. We're really interested in, in stories and storytelling, so that's, that's the most important thing to us about a play. Mm. Um, it's not about the style and the, um, and the artifice of how mm. it's going to be staged, it's more about the story that we want to tell and the characters. Mm. Um, so we're fairly kind of traditional, I suppose, in that sense. Yeah, but, but for the company, it's, um, it, it's all about the next generation of new writing, so we're particularly interested in emerging playwrights um, and championing them and giving them an opportunity to see their work performed on the stage uh, rather than kind of going through the endless development cycles of rehearsed readings and uh, talking about a play and talking about a play and developing and developing it, uh, actually staging it and giving it you know, an outing and then perhaps that being part of the, the actual development process, kind of taking it to the next stage and full fruition. Mm. Yeah, I think that um, audience reaction is never totally what you expect. And I think that as the more work that we've done, the more we sit in the rehearsal room and say to the actors, we don't know whether we're going to get laughs here. Don't expect any laughs. Don't, you know, expect, expect anything. You never know how people are going to react to it. And um, audiences can be different from one night to the next and you can mm. get a very, very quiet audience who still really enjoy a piece but they're really listening to it. And sometimes you'll, the play will finish and there'll be a good minute or so of silence before anyone claps and you'll be sat there going, oh, they hated it. But I think it's actually more about the drama and the suspense that you've created. Yeah. So um, audience, is, audience reaction is really important to us and I think the thing that, that we... Um, we really care about is that they go away talking about the play and even if they hated the characters and they didn't agree with what the characters were doing, if they're going away and talking about it then it shows that we've kind of done our job because we've provoked discussion and we're making people view yeah, make, yeah, make society people and think about it, yeah. life. Yeah. And, and, and that's the exciting thing about live theatre, it, it is that you know, it can change from one night to the next yeah. and particularly with this piece, True Love Waits, um, we've, we've performed it at a number of festivals uh, from the summer okay. up until, until you know, now in November uh, and 
we've performed it in theatres uh, and we've performed it in uh, an outdoor venue, uh, a latitude, um, where people were kind of sat under trees watching, you know, uh, this kind of makeshift prop up <laughs> okay. stage. Um, but, it, you know, and, and brilliant reactions, you know, and, and, but it's so different and it's mm -hmm. been really nice for us to kind of see the piece uh, change and grow um, throughout, you know, throughout, yeah. throughout its development. So, it's great. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much.